Welcome back. Keeping your personal data safe. In recent weeks, we've seen a rise in just how we access personal information, especially with mobile devices. A new study from IBM on the future of digital identity and authentication has yielded interesting results. Joining us now is Caleb Barlow, IBM Security Vice President. Caleb, good to see you. Tell us about the study and where we are right now in terms of uh, securing our data. Well, we looked out over thousands of business professionals and consumers and asked them a bunch of information about how they use passwords. And, you know, one of the most interesting things we found is that millennials are actually leading the way towards us moving away from passports. They're twice as likely to use a password manager, and 75% of them are already using biometrics to log into their devices and applications. Yeah, I mean, does it work? I mean, biometrics are a big topic of your study, I know, showing 87% of those polled would use biometric authentication. In the future, 67% are good to use it. Sometimes when I use this on my, on my new iPhone, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, I mean, <laughs> I think, you know, one of the... It, so you got to look at it this way, right? It's the combination of something I know, like a password, something that I have, like your phone, right. and something unique about you, like your face mm. or your fingerprint. You combine those three things together, then you've got a really robust security posture versus just relying on a password alone. Yeah, that's true. I just... Yeah. I prefer the, I prefer the fingerprints. Mar Mary Kissel here. Um, you know, for those of us who are not buying the $1,000 phones, when is the price going to come down on some of these biometric measures so that, you know, uh, the regular guy can afford it? Well, I think that's more up to Apple than it is to me. But I think the, the, real, the real point there is as these things start to become more and more commonplace and as people become more and more used to them, it's really important because it's very easy to crack a password nowadays, right? I mean, you can brute force uh, cracking a password if you have the encrypted hash of it in oftentimes a few seconds with the right tools and equipment. And unfortunately, a lot of this information is in the hands of criminals today mm. because of all the breaches that we've had over the last year. Hey, Caleb, this is Mike Murphy. Um, so looking at a company the size of IBM, uh, and wondering how startups play into what you guys are doing. We run a venture capital fund at Rosecliff, and so we're always looking at new companies and seeing how they can disrupt specific industries. Are, are, is IBM looking at early stage companies to see how they can take that technology and improve what you're doing there? Well, you know, we always are. In fact, IBM Security is a $3 billion annual revenue part of IBM. We're on our 20th acquisition. So we're always looking at new technologies and new ways to do things across the, uh, across the globe. Speaking of biometrics, the study saw it not only fingerprints being touted as the most secure form of authentication, but banks being seen as the most trustworthy institution mm -hmm. to protect users' biometrics. What are your thoughts on that? What's, what well, area, whether it's the, a bank that you're using or the kind of approach, whether it's your fingerprint or your facial recognition, what's most effective in your view? Well, the most effective thing is to have that combination of a multi-factor authentication. Again, something you know, something you have, and something unique about you. And financial institutions, particularly U.S. institutions, have been really leading the way to ensure that our transactions can be trusted and authentic. Now, when we move to things like social media, we're less likely to see people paying as much attention to security. But here's why this is so important. Last year alone, there were 3 billion records leaked. Wow. 3 billion records in wow. one year. Yeah. There's only 7 billion people on the planet. That's incredible. Caleb, we'll be watching. Thanks very much. Serious story there. Caleb Barlow, thank you.